Hey guys, it's Mark here from ETF Tracker and welcome to this edition where we're looking at the holdings analysis tools within the ETF Tracker website. So here on ETF Tracker, we've overhauled the uh, website as you can see. Uh, we make it easier now to go directly to the blog, the podcast, the forum, or even the apps. And the reason for this video is because people were asking uh, other um, people on Instagram about ETFs and they flagged ETF Tracker as a way to look at the different holdings. And there are some other tools out there, um, but we provide this one here for free so you can take a look. Um, the ability to do that is in the apps section. So you've got the main ETF Tracker app. There's also a guide and then there's also these holdings analysis apps. So if you click on that, we used to have them all in separate pages, um, but it was getting a little bit too cumbersome, especially as we're gonna add some more. So now we've got it all on the one page. You've got a menu here where you can click on each of these to jump down directly to that particular app, but it's all on the one page um, for now. We haven't combined them all into one app so that you can compare ETFs across the different issuers. And the reason for that is because there's a lot of cleanup that needs to happen within those different ETFs. So the, the naming conventions are not necessarily the same across those different ETFs. But here's what you can do. So for example, if you take a look at beta shares, so I'm just gonna click on that button at the bottom right to expand so that we can see that in full screen mode. So there's three sections on this. There's the dashboard, there's a way to search holdings, there's a way to search ETFs. And on the dashboard, it's all interactive. So if, for example, you were interested in this sector exposure and you were interested in the beta shares uh, holdings, the ETFs that have exposure to information technology, sorry, I clicked on finance there. If we click on information technology, we can see that they're in North America, mostly. Um, you've got ones here, HNDQ and NDQ. So there's the hedged and the normal NASDAQ plays. Ethi and HETH are also quite up there as well. If we wanted to look at say consumer discretionary, you can see where that exposure is as well. So um, one of the questions that had come up was how to compare ETFs across um, you know, the different kind of holdings that they've got. So in this case here, we've got the way that you can select the ETF by the ticker, or maybe you prefer the name of the ETF. So one of the ones that has come up is um, Ethi and Fair. So Ethi and Fair, uh, one is looking at global, which is Ethi. The other one is looking at local, ESG kind of place, so FAIR's that one. So there's not gonna be any crossover there. But if we looked at FAIR versus say the A200, then we do see some crossover. And now the thing is this table can be ordered in alphabetical order, okay? So ascending or descending. And then we can also order it in terms of the total uh, percentage weighting that is there across those ETFs. So CSL is in A200 and it's also in FAIR. So it's 6.3% and 3.4%. CBA is 8.9% of A200, but it does not exist in FAIR. And as we scroll down the page, we can see a lot of where there is crossover, okay? And we can also see a lot of these ETFs that are in the A200 that are not in FAIR. And then you can add more of these ETFs, uh, all in beta shares, that is, and then you can do it for iShares, you can do it for State Street, but you'd have to add them all here. So you might have a portfolio that you're interested in looking at, and you just use the, the total button here to make it in ascending or descending order in terms of the total weight percentage. And if you wanted to see that in more detail, you just click the maximize it button there and then we can um, zoom in a little bit to see that depending on the size of your screen, okay? So we'll just go back out. We can also do that on the holdings as well, okay? So you might be interested in a particular holding, let's say Tesla, and we can see where Tesla exists and it's in four beta shares ETFs, Earth, HNDQ, and NDQ, and QUS. And maybe you're interested in Afterpay as well. So let's click on Afterpay. And we can see that it is mostly in ATEC, but it's also in the A200, AUST, X20, and Gear. So now you can start to layer some of these things together. Over time, we're gonna be adding more features and that ability to search for holdings across the different ETF issuers. But for now, just because of the naming conventions, we're keeping it all separately by the issuers. But if you're interested in all of this, just go to the etftracker.com.au page, go to our apps, and then click on the holdings analysis in the dropdown. Okay, I'm Mark, I'll see you later, and happy investing.